We generated over a million dollars a year with these four funnels, and they were specifically designed to be deployed at different stages of growth. They were tied into the revenue. So I wanna break down how we actually did it. So if you wanna do the same thing with your business, you can. By the way, if you don't know who I am, my name is Jennifer Waters. I actually help people turn their passion into profit. I took my martial arts school, my family's martial arts school, and we went from 5,000 a month to over a million dollars a year in revenue. And now I help other businesses internationally to do the exact same thing with their passion and to turn it into profit. So the way in which we did this is we started off with a 2X growth funnel. Everybody is all in at 10X with Grant Cardone and all of that. And that's amazing, that's great. But most of the time when you're just getting started off in business, you just wanna do double what you're currently doing. So that's why we started with a 2X growth funnel and it works fantastic. It really got us from zero to 10K. And you might be thinking to yourself, what exactly is the 2X growth funnel? and why should I use it? So the 2X growth funnel is gonna take you from about zero or a couple of thousand a month or something like that, all the way up to 10K. And the way we do it is we started off with word of mouth and we started off with, basically if you think about your outreach strategies as having a nucleus, then working outward to warm traffic and then finally cold traffic, we really went all in on hitting the warm traffic. So as proactive as a digital marketing agency would be with targeting and with trying different types of things to reach out online with hooks and angles and things like that, that's how we approached our word of mouth advertisement, our internal event advertisement. So if you're a local base, like a brick and mortar business, what are things that you can do to encourage your existing students to your existing customers to refer you new business when a new client signs on when you run a campaign each month for some type of contest because they're referring people when you're hosting an internal event to bring those additional customers that you haven't met yet those additional students to you if you're doing these things and you're creating that that little bubble around your nucleus of your business you're being able to tap into that warm traffic and you're going to double in size so if you were at 1k you'll go to two if you're at two you'll go to four if you'll go to from four, you'll go to eight. From five, you'll go to 10. Pretty easily just by rinsing and repeating that method. Most of the time, it's actually not that hard to get to 10K without having to do any type of paid ads. Paid ads help you get there faster, but it's not exactly necessary. So that was the first funnel. That's what we used. It really got us there to 10K relatively fast. And then the second thing after that that we used was our guerrilla marketing funnel. When I was about 16 years old, YouTube was not around like this. And um, I don't even know if it was around when I was 16, but in any case, I used to go to the local library and I would borrow all the books that I could on marketing. One of the books that I borrowed back in the day was a book called Guerrilla Marketing. Now I had some great concepts in there. I tried to use some of those concepts, but I just didn't have all the tools that they were talking about in order to get the word out. But I wanna to explain to you my version of Guerrilla Marketing and how we used that particular funnel to get us from 10K to about 50K and how you can use the exact same thing. Okay, so guerrilla marketing is a hands-on approach where you're not just trying to work off of referrals or bringing people into your business, but where you're going out into the community. Now, if you're an online business, it's a little bit different. So I'm speaking to the local brick and mortar businesses right now, whether you're a gymnastics school, martial arts school, dance, if you're a local based business, you can go out into your community and form strategic alliances with other businesses that are like yours or that have high levels of foot traffic. I'm talking about working out deals where, hey, if I send you customers, will you send me customers? Those types of deals work really well. And let's say you don't wanna go dollar for dollar or try to work out an actual referral fee. Could you, in turn, get flyers to that particular business or advertisements to, for that particular business and that is specific for their customers? And they, in turn, give you discounts to give to your customers? That also works really well. And I would stick to other small businesses that are in your area. I found that big box stores have to go through corporate and you're probably not at a level where you're gonna get approved by corporate because if they approve you, they're gonna have to approve everybody else who's also 
trying to do the exact same thing you are. Another big win for us from 10K to 50K is we started thinking about where do our ideal customers hang out? And being that we're a martial arts school, that meant that most of our kids spent most of their time in school. So how did we get to the schools? What could we do to get in that ideal community? Originally, we just tried to get. So we would go up to the school and say, can you pass out these flyers so we can get new students? And of course, that didn't work out so well because the school was like, no. Even if we said, you know, martial arts provides all these benefits, can we get new students from you passing all these flyers? And it would not allow us to be able to come in and get involved with the school system. Ultimately, what we had to learn was that we needed to give first. Gary Vaynerchuk wrote a book called Jab, 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 Right Hook. And the whole entire premise of that book was to give and give and give as much as possible and wait for the ask. And if you could hold out waiting for the ask, you would find that people would be more willing to say yes than if you just tried to ask them right away. And so what we did is we applied this principle to the schools. And later we applied it to also other small businesses where we were trying to work on growing our adult programs as well. But the whole concept with this is what could we do for the school, for the children, without asking for anything back to us. And eventually we built something that's more important than anything else that you're gonna find when it comes to reaching out and working this guerrilla marketing strategy. We figured out how to build a relationship, a relationship where we knew the person's name, we knew exactly what they needed to do, how they needed help, we knew what our function was in that relationship. And then when the time arose where we could say, hey, would you mind if we did X, Y, or Z? They were more than welcome to let us do that. And because that we went from 10 to 50k do you have to be tenacious yes do you have to get out and put your boots on the ground 110 percent but you will get the 50k pretty easily if you can keep working those strategies okay so the third funnel is called the people paid multiplier i know that's a mouthful but let me explain to you why it's called the people paid multiplier. So going from that 50k to 83k a month was a big jump for us and the reason why it pulled this extra multiplier is because once you're at about 50K, maybe you're doing it all by yourself. Maybe you have some part-time people, but at that point, you're halfway to 100K and what you did getting up to that point is going to be something different. What you did getting up to that point is only gonna take you to that point. You're gonna need to do something different to get to a million dollars a year of revenue. And so what we had to do is we had to start thinking about getting people to come alongside us and multiply the efforts that we had initially started. So remember I was talking about the boots on the ground thing and doing the grill marketing? That was me, that was my husband, that was my family members just doing that. That wasn't paid staff. Eventually, it turned into people paid multiplier though, and we hired people that then multiplied what we were already doing and expanded those guerrilla marketing efforts. Because we were able to do that, it allowed us to do more volume, and more volume allowed us to generate more leads, dumping back into the business, which then increased sales. But that wasn't the only thing. Up to that point, we hadn't really been serious about paid ads. Like, we would just put money into paid ads and guessed that that was enough money. Money, but we were really seriously investing thousands of dollars back into it. Matter of fact, I'm pretty certain that we were investing probably less than 1% back into paid ads and still growing the business, which is great and awesome. But what I learned later is that a healthy and thriving business is going to be investing 10 to 15% of their gross revenue back into advertisement in order to fan the flames so that way they can get more leads in. So eventually we started the paid element as well and did paid advertising on on a regular consistent basis with thousands of dollars being dedicated to paid advertising alone and voila we had people we had paid and it multiplied our business all the way up to seven figures now the fourth funnel that i was talking to you about earlier that's what we call the omnipresence funnel when you have that funnel you're literally everywhere. There's no place you can go uh, that your local area doesn't see you. You're online. Maybe they got a flyer. Your student, and they received it because they're a friend of your student. You're literally everywhere you can be in the community. There's buzz around your name. People are referring to you as the number one source for whatever thing it is that you do. Martial arts or gymnastics, dance, any other business type that you have, you're the go-to. And at that point, we call that omnipresence. We're talking about video content, we're talking about ads, we're talking about the guerrilla marketing, the 2X funnel, all of those things are running 100% full steam ahead every single month of the year. 
and generating leads, new students like crazy, and new customers. So ideally, you would want to be working through those stages, hitting that solid million, and then focusing on the omnipresence model. And that formula has worked for years. Up to this point, we've been operating at a million dollars a year for 13 years at the time of this video. Inside of that business, we have our other business, Seven Figure Dojo, which you're probably wondering what the logo's for. So we, like I said in some of my other videos, we actually help businesses turn their passion into profit. So martial arts schools, gymnastics, dance, cheer, service-based businesses, we take the passion that they have for the service they're providing and help them turn it into a profit. And so with that business, we're on a seven-figure run rate with that business as well. So we have two very successful businesses that are operating and helping people be able to achieve what they need and what they want in their lives. I think overall, the important lesson to learn here is that each stage of your business's journey is going to be different. And each stage, you're gonna need a slightly different marketing funnel to get there, but it's not insurmountable. And listen, if you want to see more content just like this, do me a favor and hit the like button. You can go ahead and subscribe so that you're notified first when the video comes out and you'll be able to see more content like this, which is super helpful for business owners just like yourself. Until next time, keep being awesome.